Welcome guys to our first track guide and this is actually going to be the license S10 track guide how to get a gold on it so make sure you stay tuned make sure you let me know how you get on with this one are you liking it are you not and are you enjoying GT7 or are you not I'd love to know and if you guys have any pointers for me feel free to drop them in the comments below but without further ado let's get into today's track guide on how to get gold round S10 in the license tests. Okay guys, here we go, so the Porsche 917K, first ever GT7 video, let's go. So approaching the first turn here, and we're going to be slowing it down, breaking just after the, uh, just before the 100 board there, just as the barrier starts on the left, and we're going to be bringing it down into second gear, and keeping it on the brakes, where we accelerate a little bit later through the apex, full throttle, you can see my ghost there and the demo demonstration ghost just ahead of us now. So we're going to be braking once again, just before the Marshalls box on the left there, and bring it down into third gear as we approach in the Rouge. As we go up into Radion, still want to be about 50% throttle and then push it all the way through, keeping it on the driest line possible there, while in the centre of the track. And while we're here guys, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell, like the video, that'd be really appreciated. Anyway, braking, a little bit before the 150 board there. Uh, full brakes and then slowly coming off from third into second and then we just actually splash into a puddle there but we do survive a uh, little bit of accelerating here just to get the car turned around and then we're going to be fully accelerating just before we balance the throttle for this next little bit here and then as we approach this little downward section we're going to be braking quite heavily just after that box on the left a little bit before the curb starts on the left down into second gear Again, a little bit more balance in here. Let's put a throttle and then full throttle. And while we brake once again, but we keep it all very smooth on our inputs there. And as we're approaching this next little section here, braking just before the um, before the curb starts on the right there. And being as gentle as you can be, keep it in third gear so we don't get too much wheel spin here. And again, going for the most driest line possible here, because this feels most comfortable to me. Uh, to be in anyway so again braking just a little bit before the board up the top there i think that was a 100 board on the left i believe it was still learning this track so but there we go so we are going to be nice and gentle on our inputs here very very gentle on the throttle there just trying to get the car turned around but maintain our pace at about 76 77 miles per hour once we reach the end full throttle once again but you want to be braking just a little bit before the curb starts on the left there and again, while being as gentle as possible, into second gear. Just going to try and swing the car around a little bit. A little bit of throttle there. And then we brake just a little bit, just to, again, balance the car, balance our inputs here. Now this bit was really tough for me. I kept spinning out around this section onwards when it was all dark with all the shadows. Basically, what we're going to be doing around here is a little bit before that board up the top, we're going to be braking. And just gentle braking inputs here and then a gentle accelerating inputs at this stage right now. Kept it in fourth so we don't get too much wheel spin here. Uh, again, a little bit more brakes. And just trying to turn the car around as smoothly as possible. You've probably seen the bottom there. It really does try and lose it, but I do just about maintain it. Full throttle, and we're braking just before the line on the middle of the track there. And going down into second gear as we approach bus stop right now. Now we do actually touch this curb. It might be better not to touch it, but just could be something for future to improve the time and once we approach the end bit here we're going to be full throttle in and all throttle to the end of the lap there so that's going to be a 225.770 our first GT7 video our first track guys let me know what you guys think but I'll leave you guys with the full footage thanks for watching guys have a good one and take care